The main goal of the Vatican's new evangelization is to revive faith in Christianity. And this is precisely the goal of Mission Metropolis, led by Archbishop Rino Fisicella, president of this new pontifical council. The focus is on main cities that are de-Christianized, so to speak. Cities like Barcelona, Budapest, Brussels, Dublin, Cologne, Lisbon, Liverpool, Paris, Turin, Warsaw and Vienna. The interesting thing is that these 12 cities, these 12 churches, will accompany each other during the same time, which will be during Lent 2012. This will give Europe a sign of new evangelization. During the 40 days of Lent, the cathedral of each one of these cities will once again be the center of evangelization. Each one will hold activities with great spiritual impact. There will be various initiatives, very symbolic and simple. They include the continued reading of the Word of God, of the Gospels, and readings of the Confessions of St. Augustine to show that a person who is searching must arrive at conversion. And that's why the Sacrament of Penance will also be featured. But before Lent 2012, the Pontifical Council for the New Evangelization is planning on hosting an international meeting on October 15th and 16th in Rome. Representatives from various ecclesial movements in Rome will be there. We've invited new evangelists for the new evangelization. And you can't have a new evangelization without new evangelizers. And there are many of them, hundreds of thousands. They include young people, religious, priests from various institutions will be present for an experience of communion, joy, celebration and prayer. Among the invited guests are Mother Veronica Versosa, founder and superior of Jesu Comunio of Spain. Also Marco Beraceli, who is a scientist, and writer Vittorio Mezzori. The meeting will bring forth important information on how to move the new evangelization forward. It's something that without a doubt will be key in the next synod on the new evangelization, when the bishops meet in Rome in October 2012.